thousand dollars of your loan, it ain't gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. There are some strange stories out there, and there are some even clients that we've had. We've had some weird things happen, but as you can see by these statistics, last year's fourth quarter, only four percent of the people who get modified get a principal reduction of balance. I want everybody to be very aware of the scams that are out there. I want to start off by saying there is no one on the internet that has a direct line to Bank of America. There's no one that has a direct line to J.P. Morgan and Chase. There's no one that has a direct line to any of these banks. They cannot get you a loan modification. It's a lie and it's a scam. They will take your money up front and you will have little to no recourse after that. The website may look good, the promises may sound flashy, but if just some company doing business out of Ohio over the internet and you send them $2,000 because they promise you that they're going to reduce your interest rate to 2%, it will not save you when it comes time to be foreclosed upon. They will take in your money. It is fraud in our state for anyone to charge you an upfront fee to get you a loan modification. It is criminal conduct and it is fraud in our state. Be aware, be very, very careful. Rescue companies have become widespread with promises to help homeowners avoid losing their homes. Many of these companies use questionable, sometimes illegal tactics. I see lost money, ruined credit, sometimes losing the home itself. Predatory lending. What's predatory lending? Predatory lending is when a lender or a mortgage broker engages in deception or fraud or manipulates the borrower through aggressive sales tactics or takes unfair advantage of a borrower's lack of understanding of loan terms. I'm sure everybody here read all 47 pages of their loan documents and knew what every word meant and where every dollar went, right? Well, you say, well, I didn't need to because I, I was represented there at the closing. I had my mortgage broker and I had my banker there with me. Oh, really? Those are people who are looking out for you, you're telling me. The banker and the mortgage broker. Well, let me, let me educate you a little bit, if I may. That mortgage broker is getting paid by you. The bigger the loan, the more exotic loan that mortgage broker steered you to, the more money he or she made. And the bank, the bank back then, this is what the bank did. Listen, we don't care what happens. Write down a number. Tell us how much you made. We'll prove it because we're going to make our money too. And you know how we're going to make it? We're going to make it by taking the loan in. But we're going to turn around. We're going to bundle that loan up with a bunch of other loans. We're going to sell it. We're going to stock it. We're going to sell it to Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae. Every, all the big companies, everybody. We're going to sell this out. So we don't even care if the person we just wrote a loan for can afford to make payments or not. Because it's not going to be our loan as soon as we get it. We're going to sell it to somebody else. We're making a fair problem. So you went to a closing and you had two parties who were making money off of you. Making money off of you. The bigger the loan was, the more money they made. And you expected them to look after your financial well-being when it came time to find this piece of property.